Good morning, Lancers. It's Pastor Tim Detweiler with today's chapel message. You've been at home for a little over a week now, and you've been on remote learning for a week. And as you can see, I'm standing out in the student union, which is empty. No students. No students means no activity, no laughter, no conversation. It's a weird feeling, uh, truly a sense of uh, aloneness and loneliness here at Orange Lutheran without you guys on campus. But I probably don't need to tell you what that feels like because you're more likely than not experiencing that as you are at home, separated from your friends and uh, from some family members probably as well. And uh, that can have a tremendous effect on us. And for a lot of us, it might lead us to feelings that uh, resemble what we're going to experience as we enter into an empty and a dark gymnasium. As you go through all the anxiety and the fear and the separation from friends, the seclusion, you, you very well may begin to feel a lot like this gym, as, as if a pall of darkness has fallen upon you. And it's at times like this that we need to turn to God's word and hear his promises of presence and peace to us. In God's words in the beginning of the gospel according to John, it says that a light has come into the world that darkness has not overcome. And it goes on to say that, Jesus goes on to say that, I am the light of the world. Jesus is the light of the world that darkness has not and cannot overcome. Jesus knows what you're going through. He, in the gospel according to John, prepares his disciples, his friends, for a time similar to this for you that they're going to experience some anxiety and some fear some that flows from their feeling helpless and, and vulnerable because he's going to go to the cross and he's going to die and he's going to be buried into a grave and eventually he's going to ascend back to his father. And he knows that they're going to have that separation and, and that same fear and anxiety that you might be experiencing, they'll experience. And so he comforts them and promises them his presence and his peace. He promises them that even though I leave, I'm sending another. I'm sending the Holy Spirit, the comforter, to be with you, to comfort you in your times of anxiety, to comfort you in your times of fear. And, and don't let this bother you because I'm giving to you my peace. He says in John 14, peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your hearts be troubled, neither let them be afraid. He says, I'm giving to you a peace, a peace that's far greater than the world can give. The world's peace is based on the power of the world, which is imperfect. Sometimes that peace is good and sometimes it's not. It's not sure. But the peace that comes from the Almighty God himself that's a peace that you can count on. It comes from the all-powerful, all-gracious God. And that's the peace God sends to you. Jesus promises for you in these times. So he says, not let, don't let your hearts be troubled. And neither let them be afraid. He doesn't say that you're not going to be troubled, that you're not going to have fears. You will. We live in a sinful, broken world. And we're going to experience those fears and those anxieties. But the peace he gives to us is far greater. It's a peace that comes from that light, which darkness cannot overcome. So also the troubles in the world and our fears cannot overcome the peace that God gives to us. That's the peace he promises you. It's a peace that Paul later writes about and says, and the peace of God which surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in 
Christ Jesus. Do you hear that? The peace he gives to us, it surpasses all understanding and it guards our hearts and our minds in Christ Jesus. That means when the fears and the anxieties and the darkness that are around us begin to try to invade, it guards us. It keeps them out. The peace that we have in Christ is always victorious. That's the peace you have. That's the peace that God promises to you the peace of Jesus Christ that his Holy Spirit delivers to you regardless of what assails you it cannot defeat you you have the presence and the peace of Jesus that darkness and fear can never overcome so my prayer are those words that we finish with my prayer is that the peace of God which surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. God's blessings to you, his peace be upon you, and may he keep you safe. Amen.